Hi, I'm Ramona Worst, your kitchen gadget genie. I have a really great product that I'll be reviewing for you. This is a brand new product on the market. It is a ball fresh tech jam and jelly maker. Now what's so great about this product is if you have arthritis like I do in my hands, it's really painful for me to stand over a stove and stir and stir and stir. But I still love homemade jams and jelly. So what I've done is I've researched and researched and found this wonderful product. It's very simple. It has a lid. It's got its container. It's got my hands. <laughs> this is my actual stir. And it's got this really great unit. Now what makes this so wonderful is it's set on a timer. When you push the jam and jelly, it's going to beep at you in four minutes. Time to add the sugar. You've got the lid on, then in about 21 minutes after that, it beeps at you again to let you know your jam or your jelly is finished. And it's that simple. Then you just put it in your jars and voila, you go ahead and seal your jars and you're off and running. It also comes with a really nice book and this cookbook has all kinds of jams and jelly recipes or you can use your own recipe. Now the recipe that I've created for our kitchen today is a strawberry and tarragon jam. Now I prefer jams because I like the uh, consistency more of a preserve or a thicker jam on my toast. So I am going to be making more jams. You'll also want to make sure that you buy the ball pectin. And the reason why is because other pectins or other uh, sure gels aren't really made for this unit and because of the difference in the temperature it can clump up or it may not turn out as good. They have got their own product uh, that works perfectly in their jam and jelly maker. Another thing is even if you're creating your own jam and jelly recipe always make sure that you only use the measurements of the ingredients in your book so you know if it calls for two and two-thirds cup only use that amount. Even though it looks like it's real small in the cooker, as it's cooking, it bubbles up. And when you see this, you'll see that it actually uh, comes all the way to the top. So you don't want to increase it because you'll be running over. So let's get started. The instructions say the first thing that you do is you take your pectin and you're going to sprinkle that all over the bottom of your jelly maker. The next thing we're going to do is take our strawberries. Now I have crushed my strawberries and added the tarragon. So I'm just going to pour that over the pectin as evenly as you can. And then you'll add your butter. Now what butter does is the fat from the butter actually stops the foam and the bubbles from appearing on top of your jams and your jelly. So it's just a little trick to keep that from happening. Now what you do is you put the lid on and you'll notice that your lid doesn't fit down in the grooves and the reason why is right here there are holes in the lid so that the steam will escape. Now you just press jam and you see it goes to 21 minutes and you press enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off so that you can take a look inside. Your stir is starting to stir and the jam maker is actually starting to heat up. So I'm going to actually put the lid back on. We're going to wait for four minutes and then it'll give you four beeps. Now you don't want to get away from your jam maker for those four minutes because it only beeps four times and then it doesn't beep any longer. So you want to just make sure that you stick around for that time. Now while we're waiting for our four minutes, let me give Ball just a little commercial here. They have been making products in the USA for decades. My grandma used to use them. Your grandma's probably used them too. They have uh, the perfect jelly jars, vegetable canning jars, any kind of jars in any kind of decoration that you really want. Now these for this jelly are a half pint jar. Perfect because when you add your label to it, you can give your jellies away to all of your neighbors and friends and they will think that you slaved over the stove for hours and hours just like they remembered their grandma's doing. But we have a little secret. 
All you did was you put all your ingredients in the jam and jelly maker, turned it on, and voila, the kitchen gadget genie came in and made your jam for you. And your friends are going to think that they're in heaven again. It's just a little secret between you and me. So let's go ahead and wait for the four minutes and then we'll add our sugar. Okay, we have just beeped four times and now we're going to add our sugar. Let me just let you take a look at this. It's starting to heat up and you can see some of the steam. Now you just want to add your sugar in slowly and you want to make sure you distribute your sugar. Now you don't have to get it real even because your stirrer is going to stir it and distribute it and it's going to start melting. We're going to put the lid on and as you'll notice we've got 17 minutes left so in 17 minutes we'll be back and our jam will be done. So now let me think what am I going to go do? Hmm, I guess I could go write this blog post for you. I could do up my dishes. Oh, there's just so many things that I can do since my kitchen gadget genie's making my jam for me. I'll be back. I know when you first saw the maker working that it didn't really look like it was going to heat up enough to actually make the jam and jelly. Well, I don't know if you can see all the steam rising, but if you look inside, your jam is boiling away and it's being stirred. Little Kitchen Gadget Genie's inside there stirring up your gem and she's going to make it just perfect. There were your four beeps. That means your jam is complete and your Kitchen Genie went poof, she's gone, but she left behind some wonderful jam. Take a look. It's all cooked perfectly and it's ready to go in your ball jars and then we're going to go ahead and seal those jars and we're done. I'm Ramona Wurst, your Kitchen Gadget Genie and this is my strawberry tarragon jam being made with my ball fresh tech jam and jelly maker.